hi guys uh, in the previous videos we have seen how to configure Cloudera manager uh, using the repo uh, now uh, we will see how to install CDH using the repositories uh, we will be installing using parcels for that for configuring the parcels I have to do one thing so oh, I have done it already I will explain the steps what you have done so I will be going to the document root path that is the var www slash html the root path okay so I have created a directory called cdh5 uh, okay I will show the steps for that I created a cdh5 directory so inside that I have created one more directory called parcels cdh5 okay one more directory called parcels okay if you see here uh, so uh, you can see the parcel files here these files are downloaded from this path actually so you can use wget path to download these files so these are all the files which have downloaded that is rq.cloudera.com go to the cdh5 okay if you press this uh, select the parcel and i will be selecting 5.10.1 so that's the version i am going to install so you have to choose your uh, parcel according to our voice version so I, I have installed this red hat CentOS 7 so I will be downloading this parcel that is copy link and duplicate again we have to download this and the last file is manifest objection just copy a link duplicate from the server so if you go to that Cloudera manager so these are the files I have downloaded okay from the wget command so if you want to see whether the local parcel is working or not go to that click on cdh5 and before that you have to configure one more thing that is uh, the repo file that is very important to distribute to the all the other nodes cd you go for c ctc m dot repos dot d in that you can see here cloud error cdh repo so this is the repo i have configured this is the local repository i have given the ip address of cloud error manager the IP address and CDH in the parcels this is the location where the all the parcel files and manifesto file are placed okay if you type this enter go to the parcel and you can see the files here so these these two file uh, these especially this file uh, and this Cloudera manager repo and the manager uh, cdh will be placed in all the servers with the same path like etc m repository so that it can uh, approach the local repository while uh, downloading the software so this is the mandatory step what you need to do for this okay so next step uh, what I have done is uh, as I am using the external databases so I have uh, created some 
databases which are required to store like active monitor and reports manager so this is used by the cloud era manager and this is the hive which is used to store the hive meta store if you are configuring sentry you can go ahead and create the sentry database and if you are using the navigator you can go ahead and this is for hive and this is for zoo just creating the database with the default characteristic of utf8 and granting uh, this user with the, all the permission on this database okay and i am using some default password for this user so these are all the database created on the mysql if you want i can show that mysql user root password enter your root password and if you show the databases so these are the list of databases i can just copy and paste this command create database view with the default character utf8 and grant uh, all permissions on this view database for this user with the identified by this password so these are the prerequisites i have done uh, for cdh and these are the nodes present what i do i'll just log into the cm so this is the cm it runs on one uh, defaultly 7180 take the uh, external ip address and 7180 is the default port number just enter and it will be asking for the username and password so you can give whatever the relevant username you want then accept the terms continue and uh, three types of editions available here on this cloud era expression express this is free edition and they, we have a data hub enterprise edition this in addition will be valid for 60 days after 60 days uh, uh, it will convert uh, interpretation into the express editions as a basic editions with few minimal features continue this continue so uh, we are going for 5.1 and we have to give the list of users where we have to to be a part of uh, cloudera managers in the sense list of instances so i have prepared the steps for that i have collected the instance name and all just let me find out that okay it is not there so i'll just take it from my system okay there is okay 10.23456 and 7 okay and you should put it as a comma separated things so i'm sorry i'll go back again i'll copy this go to this host comma it is three comma four comma five comma five six seven just cross verify the things We just cross verifying that it is 10 2 3 4 5 6 7 5 it is 2 2 3 4 5 6 7 1 2 3 6 
okay and this search okay you can see that the cloud error manager is already uh, managed by cloud error host if you can see here click on this okay and let's move forward just continue okay so uh, it is asking it is giving two methods of installation one is using packages and using parcels these are recommended by cloudera because it has its own advantages by using the parcel so see these are all the default one if you want to see why it is coming go to the more options if you see it is all taking from the cloudera archive right so we want to take it from cloudera local repository right so for that you can do the exit this one is ltr cat cloudera cdh repo just copy this path remove this and give save the changes so it's not coming let's go back again and check let's tend to cdh parcels just let me verify with pasting it out here is not coming because uh, we have to give this as the IP address it's control V CDH CDH parcels Okay, I can see it's five or CDH. Okay, then you have to give CDH five here. Save the changes. See, see now we can able to see the required version of that. Okay, five point ten point one. Go to continue, go back and we can see one more. So it matches with the cloud server, that's fine. So check these two, this is used for encryption. So mandatorily it will play some jar files in the uh, Java location and uh, this uh, check is for installing the JDK files. Just continue. This is a single mode uh, user mode installation, so no, nothing to do now. Just continue. So, go to another user. We have created a user cloud cloud era, and you can give the cloud era user password here. And remaining things is, remains the same. Just continue. So here it will install the Cloudera uh, agent. On the all the servers and the JDK and the all the servers. And required demos will be placed on all the servers. So um, it will take some time. To install now it is installed on the JDK mm. 
it will take some time to install all the things depending upon the also in this server it is using the cloud data manager agent and the agent is also started in this node that is master node if you want to see the details what's happening on the server you can go ahead and see here so this is what internally doing it will be installing the dependent packages which are required for the installation then it is installing the cloud data manager agent on the server till that time i'll pause the video if you see all are almost in the completion of state so all the things are installed just press continue here the three phases will happen one it is downloading and distributing and unpacking and activating here So this is also a bit uh, time consuming process as it is it should download and distribute and copy the parcel to the all the other servers then it will unpack then finally it will activate. So now it is trying to distribute on all the nodes like edge node, master node, worker node 2 and 3 so it is distributing now ok all the download, distribute and unpack and activate process has been completed okay this is the multiple lines has been added so we have to delete that and two more things we have to do is we have to run these two on all the servers so we need to do that otherwise we can also do afterwards just finish okay I am going for custom services here and I will be selecting on the basic ones as of now yarn and zookeeper I am continuing here so here page is for role assignment okay and I will select data node as these three and keep all other nodes as it is ok and looks fine for me and if you want you can distribute uh, some of the services which are running on master node to the other nodes distribute java server here 
and uh, let's remove the source manage here and uh, I'll distribute balance it here and English about you server here and I'll distribute hives over here and that looks fine okay just continue and here is the database set okay so the database host name is actually is this okay so you have to copy this and I should paste in all the database name host just copying the host name here so the MySQL name remains the same and this is for hive for hive i have created user called hive okay you can put it this okay, database name is hive username is hive and the password i have given is this one i have taken the default password here okay and the hue is also the same hue hue and the password and report manager on man on man and the password activity monitor him on him on and the password OC server OC server OC I guess OC server I have not created okay I'll do one thing I'll take it OC server and create it for you OC here and I'll just copy this here okay and I'll copy the same thing here this I need to be executed in mysql enter the password okay just copy it over there this has database has been created just create, creating a user and giving a full permission on OZ database so that has been done and one more thing we have forget here to select um, select uh, the I thought we have not selected the zookeeper, but fine. Okay, you by host. Continue. Again, we have to repeat the steps. Sorry for that. Just 
copy Copy it here, copy it here, we'll just close verify. That's look to be fine and minus this and I'll go here and I'll copy the password. Okay and see. This is for hive. I've paste the password you who password Emon Emon password Ozi server Ozi Ozi password you can view the test connection now it should be successful so it is saying that jdbc driver not able to found okay i guess where so i guess we have to cross check whether we have installed jdbc or not mm. I log into the other systems. This is the one connected Java should be installed. It is not installed, so that is why we were getting that error. So we have to do the same things in all the server. That's why That's why That's why I'll check in this node also. This should be installed, I guess. Some recall problem is found out. Just check that. Yes. 
just check with this. Just some repo problems here. Check that first. Check now. Uh, the almost becomes valid. Yes, continue. This is the default uh, configuration settings we have, so no need to change as of now. Just click on continue, and this time it will install uh, the all the selected CDHs here. Let's see how it goes. The first step it is checking for loader manager edit so that has been successful now now next step is deploying the all the client configurations of hdfs yarn and hive so the results are also completed then it is starting the zookeeper service and all the loader management services so that has been started and now it is going for zookeeper so zookeeper server is started so now it is going for hdfs it has three sequence steps First thing, the formatting of directories has completed now. It started, all the services started now. Creating the temp directory. So that has been started. So the HDFS is completed, now it is going for yarn. It is creating the directory SQL for yarn. So all the services of VN has been completed. Then it is going to start the Hive service now. Creating the meta store for the Hive. So the meta store has been created. It is creating the warehouse directory. So, which is used as a default directory for the manage tables and creating of databases. So, then it is starting the service hive. So, hive service is started. 
then it is going for starting the woozy so woozy is nothing but a workflow which we can design a job workflow saying these are the sequence jobs should be run one by one so that can be scheduled for a particular time so that is the use of Uzi here it's starting the share library root directory Now it is starting the OZ service. Okay, OZ has been started. In the final step, it is going to start the hue. Hue, it is a uh, um, Graphical user interface where the most of the uh, Hive queries Impala and the file browser of HDFS uh, can be seen. And just click continue, the cluster setup has been done. See here these are the uh, services we have cho chosen hdfs in the air and the mandatory components and hive u uzi r and zookeeper and the closer management service also has been seen so uh, this is the how we have install our cdh and with the parcels 5.10.1 and you can also go to the support and go to your boat you can see that the cloud error manager version is also 5.10.1 and if you go for all host click on the all hosts and you can see that these are the hosts which are participating on the server So this is how we can uh, configure or install the CDH using the parcels. So any doubts or any comments, you can place it on the comment section. And please subscribe. Thank you.